what was going on in the education system in 2020. It was really a difficult year for everyone in education, from the parents to the kids, the teachers and the administrators trying to move to a totally new way of teaching and learning while everyone's in crisis. So I would describe 2021 as a year of disruption and chaos, but I also like to think of it as bringing new innovation and hope to our system. So what was the problem that you were trying to solve when you founded the Indigo Project? Two problems, really. One is that one-size-fits-all factory model education, we all know it doesn't work. And we've been trying to reform it for years and years and years, but instead of starting with the person, we try to change the structure, we try to change the rules. But in order to do that, you have to start with the people and who the people are. And then the secondary problem is corporate America is really struggling with People who don't love their jobs and disengagement, I mean, you know these statistics. I mean, Gallup's saying only one-third of people are actually engaged in their jobs. And right now, after the pandemic, I think they're calling it the Great Resignation. Forty percent of people are looking for new jobs. And that has a lot to do with the education system and not teaching people who they are and what kind of job really fits them. The foundation of transformative teaching and learning is self-awareness being deeply known and seen, and then getting an education that's tailored to your strengths and your purpose in life. There's no two people alike, and people are incredibly varied, and I love that about the diversity of humanity. I have a pretty radical view of education. I actually believe in 100% choice. Having an entrepreneur school, an art school, having a country where there actually is total freedom and choice for students where they can pursue their gifts and learn in a way that is unencumbered by this idea that everyone has to fit through a certain mold. And I do feel like we're heading in that direction and jobs are heading in that direction. What are those skills of the future that you're preparing students for? With this whole like Twitter society where we're taking just like little tiny bits of information and like making up whole storylines, we need to move away from that and move into gathering disparate information from different voices and different sources and putting that together to accomplish a goal with many different folks from many different perspectives. And that's the only way we're going to solve some of these huge issues that we're facing as the world. I think a lot of people feel like the world's gone to hell in a handbasket and is really discouraged. But I believe that the world is getting better and we're evolving as a species. And I'm really excited about the youth that are coming in. There's a lot of young people out there who really care, who are trying and don't buy into the new system. And if we can just open their eyes to who they really are, they will solve a lot of these problems.